Hi there, my name's Luke, welcome back to Photobuy, and today we're checking out the Manfrotto B3 Advanced. Let's get into it. So, the Manfrotto B3 Advanced is one of Manfrotto's new designs in their B3 range. Now, what's really nice about this one is they take a lot of their styles and designs from the higher end tripods that you normally see, but are also a lot heavier. So this one comes in at about 1.5 kgs, including the ball head. Its maximum load can be go up right up to 8 kgs, and minimum height goes up to 40 centimeters, whereas maximum goes to 150. So you have plenty of range you can choose from, and it's really easy to use. They've gone with their M-lock grip, so you got to do is twist to unlock, and then twist to um, lock again, and then that'll keep it in place. They're very easy to use. Uh, we've used them all the time. We're finding it to become very, very popular in coming uh, tripods these days. We're seeing them a lot with three-legged thing, and Manfrotto seem to be doing them a bit more as well. So it's really nice to see the twist locks, as they really are effective and really easy to use. There are a total of four leg sections. Uh, to get the M-lock, it'll be on the three legs, and then you've got the um, starter legs, which are actually folded upwards, along with the neck being extended, so you can fold it into its smallest compact form. And when you want to use it, you just pull the legs down, and then you can extend them from there. Now what Manfrotto have done nicely as well is they've added a lock system so you would pull back on the silver lock and you can actually change the angle of which the legs extend. This allows you to get lower angles and more interesting angles but then also giving you a range of sturdiness that you wish to use and also if you're on really awkward terrain it's nice to have legs that are flexible enough where you can change the angle of which they come out at. So the ball head is really impressive, you have two knobs, so you've got the main one which will actually turn the ball head and then you also have another one that allows you to pan the tripod head as well. This is nice if you're into panoramics or you just want to quickly change angle without changing the standing point of where your camera is sitting in the ball head. The tripod head itself takes Manfrotto's very own uh, tripod plate, however they are providing you with a different kind of plate that allows you to use in different camera heads if you wish to. However, I don't see many people doing this as Manfrotto's heads are really um, effective and really easy to use, so I very much doubt you're going to have to go out and buy a new head because this one, uh, from the heads that I play with personally, this is definitely one of the best ones that I've used and it can also handle quite a bit of weight as well. The weight comes down to what the tripod legs can handle, which is 8kgs, but this head can go up to about 3.5, 4kgs, although they are saying 5, but when you tend to go to that sort of weight, it's only at certain points. Um, if you have it at an angle, at a quite an awkward angle, you will start seeing the ball move under the weight and stress of holding that camera in place. So that's our review on the Manfrotto B3 Advance. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And as always, my name's Luke, this is Photobyte, and we'll see you next time.